All right, so what you're looking at here right now is when you actually click into the test, it contains some crucial information, and let's look into what these information pieces mean because using this data, you'll actually get to decide what's wrong with your campaign, your copy, your mailboxes, or whatever it is, so that you can steer away from the bad and work on the good so you get more emails in the inbox folder. So a very quick overview over here. You've got the inbox tab, spam, missing, and unmailable, and like mentioned, if you watched the previous video, we're gonna have one more column over here uh, that is gonna let you know any emails that were uh, you know, marked as spam because the copy was bad or the sender IP was bad that our own seed list, the receiver mailboxes, uh, their Gmail, Outlook, or whichever SCG we use said, nah, mate, not good, right? So we'll show that for you as well, but for now, it will be in missing based upon when you watch this video. Sweet. So you've got an overall view that will show you the overall health of your campaign that you run over here. We've got something called the spam filter score in which we've got spam assassin. For this video, we'll only cover that uh, in this series. We've also, you'll see it's done with spaces for a reason because we've got a whole bunch of really cool, popular, and important um, spam filter platforms coming in so that will give you full confidence. Whoever you message, you know how their systems are gonna react. Right underneath, we've got IP analysts that are gonna give you the IP reputation and your RDNS, um, which is a reverse DNS, and the IP reputation, which is the reputation of the sender IP, which is the MX record or mail exchange service IP that you're using, which would be either Gmail or Outlooks or your private SMTP service that you're using anyone in the market. The domain analytics is gonna to refer to the domain that you're using to send emails. It could be any of the secondary domains or whatever, and what those domains are listed in perceptive to blacklist, if they are in blacklist, on the DCAM and, and SPF records, and you know we'll go into all those things very quickly. And the other cool part over here is we've actually broken it down on a geographical and provider approach, both very important in my opinion for, uh, in our opinion for people to view. Because if you're specifically sending out to certain regions for this campaign, it's important for you to know how that region is responding back to your emails. Because the rule engines for even the same provider like Outlook or Gmail will be different if you're sending it in per se in the Eastern European versus American, South American, or Southeast Asian regions. And we've covered as much of that as possible relevantly for you as well. So if we quickly look at this right now, we've got the geo view, we've got Europe and North America. We'll be adding more of the popular areas in the world if required. And if you look at the provider view, what that does is it shows you all the providers that we've got. So it's broken it down on a provider perspective. What matters for us perceptively is obviously gonna be Outlook and Gmail for majority of the market because that's what we're sending it. Outlook DE is basically referring to um, uh, the, the Eastern European market for you to focus on if you care. Liberto is another provider, Hotmail's provider, Outlook, uh, Office 365 is important, um, Outlook France is there, and we've got a few more that we'll be adding in as and when we go. Now, obviously the designs are also gonna be a lot more prettier for you as you push through this and you'll see a lot more intuitive experiences come in your way as well. Now, one or two more things to show that are important to be helping you create a seamless experience is you can actually see all the sender accounts that were used and you can see based upon the sender accounts that were selected, which one performed well, which one didn't. We've got 16 over here from this one. Uh, we've got two, so probably not the best. Most of it was disconnected, I guess. And then we've got this one over here, we've got 20, so this one's done well. So you can use this insight to then decide which mailboxes you want to promote or demote or remove or add from campaigns and then ensure that your campaign's always that bulletproof campaign to make sure you're consistently landing in the primary folder. And we've got some more layers added in over here as well. If you click on the email copy, we actually show you the preview. Not only the preview, we also show you the HTML source, and not only that, we also show you the actual raw message that was received by our receipt list mailboxes, so you know exactly what they're seeing. Again, the premise of this entire product for you is complete, utter transparency, so you can make actual educated decisions and informative outcomes that will get you the best placement rates possible. All right, I'll see you in the next one where we'll be speaking about each of these particular reports and what to do with them.